definitely easier, especially on a bigger patient, smaller doc. Okay, so now that was the middle division of deltoid. We know that it has three divisions, so we are going to bring the arm up like this, slightly forward. I'm going to stabilize behind the shoulder, and I'm going to get my arm in line, because this is going to be my vector, and we're trying to get anterior deltoid here. So pressing my arm here, and that's the motion for anterior deltoid. Press my arm, that's the motion. Now, posterior deltoid, obviously back here, know our anatomy. We're going to internally rotate a little bit more, bring the shoulder back like here. I'm going to be blocking to help isolate it in the front here, and then my elbow is right in line with how I want to push, which is obviously in an arc down and in. Just like that. Okay. Okay. So the next muscle that we will test is biceps, the long head division. And so we're going to bring the muscle into flexion like here, flexion at the elbow. I'm going to be pressing in this direction. I stabilize at the shoulder and right at the bicep. Press, and that's going to be the motion. Cool. Now, we can also test the short head of the biceps. And we know that biceps engages supination, and then that's when it fires. So we supinate the forearm here, stabilize at the elbow, and then my vector will be this. And it's always in an arc. It's not going to be straight down, because I'll miss it. But go ahead and press up my hand. But if you get that um, vector right, if the muscle's weak, you should be able to find it even with that. Okay. Uh, let's do... Okay, so now we can do the triceps. So that is the antagonist of the biceps. What we're going to do is we're going to stabilize right here. And I'm going to be pulling up in an arc like this. We can have the patient press down into my hand. And then I'll be pressing up here. This is going to be long head of the triceps. You can also further isolate it by bringing the thumb towards the side. And the way to remember that is wherever the thumb is pointing, that's the division of the triceps. So this will be for middle, or medial triceps, I'm sorry. Press down on my hand, and that's going to be the motion. And again, if I press straight up, I miss it. But when I get the arc, away it goes. Okay? Lateral, same thing, different story. Bam. Bam. Okay? Okay, so the next muscle we're going to be doing is coracobrachialis. This one is really nitpicky with how we set it up. We're just going to hold the patient's elbow, hold their arm, or their wrist, I'm sorry. We bring it up here like they're combing their hair. Bring it slightly adducted, and then we're going to leave it here. I'm going to stabilize right behind the patient's shoulder, and what they're going to be doing is an up and in motion, and obviously as the muscle tester, you will be doing down and out. And so you get your vector in here, press up and in for me and you go down and out. Okay, one more time. Press up and in. And that's coracobrachialis. Very important, you see. Um, okay, so let's do the rotator cuff muscles now. What we're gonna do is subscapularis. It's an internal rotator. The one way I remember this is you go subscap or out, right? From Rex. Bring it in here, just below uh, this should be flat, this should be at 90, or just slightly greater than 90. You block the anterior part of the shoulder, and with your forearm across their humerus, and then I'm going to be going like this. So again, it's not straight up, it's in an arc around like this, so press down on my arm, and you're going to be doing that motion, that subscapularis. Uh, let's do Terry's minor. So Terry's minor, we, we want the elbow just below 90 degrees. I usually like to keep their wrist a little bit in because they can cheat with their extensors by going like that and you'll, you'll miss it. So what you do is you stabilize their elbow against their body because as they wing it out, you'll miss it too. Stabilize in here, just below 90, and I'm going to be pressing in like this. Here's the vector, obviously in the arc again, as you've seen. You can make a fist or you can make a hand, however you like it. And so you have the patient press out in your hand, and then it's in an arc. In an arc. That's Terry's minor external rotator. Next one we can do is infraspinatus, another rotator cuff muscle. 
extremely important. This is an external rotator again. So we shorten the muscle by externally rotating it at 90 degrees. I stabilize his elbow here. And then I have the, the wrist flex a little bit. And then again, it's in the vector. Okay, press. And then you're going like this. So if he tries to cheat in here, I'm going to miss it. It has to be at 90. Got it. Okay. Next one. Super spinatus, right? So we line up the fibers right here. We have the, the thumb, whole arm, lined up right with the fibers. So we want to make sure that this whole elbow complex is extended or is flat. If he's like this, we're going to miss it because he'll be able to recruit biceps. We get this nice and straight, and you're going to be pushing in an arc again, straight into him. So the patient. Okay, you can stabilize here, you can stabilize at the wrist, and you're going to have the patient initiate out towards you. And then you press in. in. And you'll feel it. Okay. Okay, next muscle is subclavius. Tiny little muscle, very important for clavicular motion. So what we're going to do is have him AD duct, I believe that would be it. Internally rotate, have the arm straight. We don't want him cheating like this. We want it nice and straight. So rotate, I'm gonna stabilize right here and at his wrist and it's gonna be in this. It's not going straight out, it's going in an arc. So I'm gonna have him press towards me and I'm gonna press down and out. By stabilizing at his head, press towards me here and I'm going down and out. This is a baby muscle, so even if it, this was strong, I mean, you can blast through it. It's important to get to know the feel of these muscles. Okay, next muscle we're going to be doing is a big one for scapular winging and stabilization in general. It's the serratus anterior. So we have, as Conrad's arm is nice and straight here, the doctor is going to stabilize around just like this, right around the inferior border of the scap, so you can feel the winging. See how I already have that right there? So, you just stabilize there. There's three divisions. There's the upper, there's the middle, and there's a lower. So we can get upper, middle, and lower divisions. And usually you'll find a corresponding really tender spot in the muscle that isn't firing. So right here again, my elbow's right in line with how I want to be. So press up, and you bring it down. So, and then, then you'd reset again at the middle one. So press up here. See how that one was going? And then you can have them sit right here, press up, and you can test. And that's how you can test all three. Uh, all right. So 